Hello friends, welcome to Club Craft Area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how, how to crochet this beautiful purse with zipper and lining. For this, we are using yarn, crochet hoop, cutter, zipper, stitch marker and some lining to stitch inside this purse. And for this project, I am using 4mm crochet hook. To do this first, we want to know the basic stitches like chain, single crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet and half double crochet. So this is very easy to make. First we will do the base for this purse. Then we will do the pattern with the alternate front post double crochet and back post double crochet till the required length. Then two rows of half double crochet. Then we will weave the zip and the lining for this purse so now let's see how to do this beautiful purse start with a slip knot do 35 chain yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop this is what we say it as chain we have to do 35 chain 1 2 3 4 5 after doing 35 chain it looks like this next you are going to work in the second chain from the hook 1 2 you are going to do a single crochet insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you will have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops so this is what we say it is single crochet place a stitch marker in this single crochet next it single crochet next it single crochet Likewise, you are going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the stitch before the last stitch. After doing single crochet in each stitch, it looks like this. Now we are left with this last stitch. You are going to do three single crochet in this last stitch. One, two, three. So next you are going to work on the other side of this chain. So you are going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the stitch before this last stitch. After doing single crochet in each stitch, it looks like this. Now we are left with this last stitch. We are going to do two single crochet in this last stitch. One, two. Remove the stitch marker and finish this round by doing a slip stitch in this first single crochet. So after completing the round, it looks like this. For next round, do chain one. Do two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two. Place the stitch marker in this first single crochet. Next do single crochet in each stitch for 32 stitches. After doing single crochet for 32 stitches it looks like this. Next do 2 single crochet in each stitch for 3 stitches. So next stitch 2 single crochet. 1, 2. Next stitch 2 single crochet. 1, 2. Next do single crochet in each stitch for 32 stitches. After doing single crochet in each stitch for 32 stitches it looks like this. Next do 2 single crochet in each stitch for 2 stitches. 1, 2. Remove the stitch marker and finish this round by doing a slip stitch in this first single crochet. So after completing the round, it looks like this. So this is the base for the purse. Next, you are going to do chain 2. 1, 2. Next, you are going to do double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first 2 loops. You will have 2 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next 2 loops. This is what we say it is double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. Yarn over. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. So likewise, you are going to do double crochet in each stitch around till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch. This chain 2 doesn't act as the double crochet. So we will do a slip stitch in this first double crochet. After completing this round, it looks like this. For next round, do chain 2. This round you are going to work on the poses of the stitch and not on the stitch. So you are going to do front pose double crochet, yarn over, 
insert the hook from front to back back to front yarn over pull the hook and the yarn from front to back and back to front you will have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops you will have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through next two loops this is what we say it is front post double crochet next you have to follow the same thing for three more stitches yarn over insert the hook from front to back back to front yarn over pull the hook and the yarn from front to back back to front you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops you'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through next two loops this is what we say it is front post double crochet you have to do for two more stitches one two so totally you have done for four stitches so front post double crochet for four stitches next you are going to do back post double crochet for four stitches yarn over insert the hook from back to front front to back yarn over pull the hook and the yarn from back to front and front to back you will have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops you will have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through next two loops this is what we say it is back post double crochet next stitch back post double crochet yarn over insert the hook from back to front front to back yarn over pull the hook and the yarn from back to front and front to back you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops you'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through next two loops so likewise you have to do for two more stitches that is back post double crochet after doing them it looks like this so you have to follow the same pattern of doing front post double crochet for four stitches one two three four and back post double crochet for four stitches one two three four so it looks like this you have to follow this till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch in this first front post double crochet after completing the round it looks like this for next round do chain 2 so we need to be careful that we are not working on this chain 2 the previous round first we did four front post double crochet in this round we will do a back post double crochet on the front post double crochet and front post double crochet on the back post double crochet so this is a front post double crochet so we will do a back post double crochet for four stitches two three four so it looks like this next so these four are back post double crochet so we'll do front post double crochet for four stitches two three four so it looks like this this is the pattern which you are going to follow for this row by doing back post double crochet on the front post double crochet and front post double crochet on the back post double crochet till you reach this end and finish it off by doing a slip stitch so this is the pattern which you are going to follow till the required height of the purse you want so that is for next round it this is the back post double crochet so we will do front post double crochet on the back post double crochet and back post double crochet on the front post double crochet the only thing we have to remember while doing this pattern is that we have to do back post double crochet on the front post double crochet and front post double crochet on the back post double crochet after doing them till the required height the purse looks like this for next round do chain two one two do a half double crochet in the same stitch yarn over insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops so this is what we say it is half double crochet place the stitch marker in this first half double crochet next stitch half double crochet yarn over insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops next stitch half double crochet next stitch half double crochet 
Likewise, you are going to do half double crochet in each stitch around till you reach the stitch marker and finish it off by doing a slip stitch. So by following the same pattern of doing half double crochet in each stitch, you have to do row one more row. Totally, you should have two rows of half double crochet. After doing two rounds of half double crochet, it looks like this. Next, do chain one and snip off this yarn. Next, you can join the lining and zipper for this purse. After weaving the zip and the lining for the purse, the purse looks like this. The purse looks like this. If you like this video, like, share, comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. Thank you friends.